consenting to the murder to his wife, which was then recorded and is now being used as evidence against him. Now, his former attorneys made all these claims about the Odinites, Odinism, Norse religion, etc. But now his new attorneys are saying, yeah, we kind of agree. After re reviewing crime scene photos and visiting Mr. Allen at Westfield Correctional Facility, present counsel believes these claims have merit. Now, he's in a new place, right? So they got him out of the prison where the old knights, or, or who they were, were wearing their patches. And guess what they came across? Allegedly. Although none of the prison guards were wearing patches in support of Odinism, one of the guards did have a symbolic face tattoo of Odin's spear and multiple hand and finger tattoos emblematic of Odinism and or Norse mythology. Oh, that's a lot of merit. Are you kidding me? So he goes to one person and he goes, Do you want to cross like the way? Aren't you, little and there's another Odinism. Go and see if you can find some. And the card person. No, I, I mean, more Odinists than I know about. I mean, yeah, apparently so. But were they attracted to being prison guards? I never heard of this before. Well, These are the allegations. Um, Matt Johnson, of course, TV Crime and Justice uh, correspondent, spent some time in Delphi recently. Come with me. And with all this new knowledge that we have, took us back She's to sustain to be the murders. Take a look. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one yeah. productivity software where you can manage everything and any. Oh, and we're here in Delphi, a town of about 3,000 people. It is the town of Sea, the Carroll County. It's eight years old, it's all right. It's a big happy children's place that was facing. How do they explain it? That's what they do. It's a big happy children's place. 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 It's a big the fence was in here. This is the one Elsie said that she dropped off. She didn't have to drop the one that was in that year. She would have waved goodbye and said that she dropped off. Ross! Down here! Ross! And once Libby and Abby were the streets, they had a choice to make. He won't hear me. Some kind of cave? The folks of the country would say that they ran into a man. Uh, he was heading towards the bridge. They were heading the opposite direction. Look, it was tight, but I can get through it. In you know, walking along the trail, you realize that there are a lot of places that someone could hide. Yes, it was a different season. This happened in February of 2017. So. There have been leaves on the trees. This must be a ruin of the men there. been very dense. What are the old places? According to court documents, at around 2 o'clock that same day, a witness said she saw a man on the bridge, standing about 50 feet up. But he looked very different, according to her account. He looked boyish, young, 20, maybe 30s, no facial hair, and brown curly hair or poofy hair. And that's what led you can see the standing on part that is rebuilt. It's completely different than the area that leads over to private property. Up this area right here, that's where that Snapchat photo is taken, where it really takes a picture of her friend Abby. The two girls, they were heading down the bridge south over private property, and that's where the abduction happened. Okay, so what's happening now? There's a big picture to be in front of the Supreme Court of Indiana. The cameras will be in there. And then it's all about his defense team. Uh, his former attorney's looking for reinstatement. This is all happening January 18th, okay? Reinstatement of the original defense team, Bradley, Sarah Rosie, and Andrew Baldwin. Um, Richard Allen also looking to have the judge removed from the case. Uh, Judge Frank Frank all uh, removed from the case, and he wants his speedy trial. He wants a trial within 70 days. I mean, that trial was supposed to be happening right now. 
if the original attorneys did not get tossed off, that trial would be happening right now. And that's what Richard Allen wants. He doesn't like hanging out with the Odinous guards. And he doesn't like being locked up. And he said he's innocent. Like hung out with the Odinous guards. But there's a lot happening in this case. It was a case that was very complicated to begin with, but it's getting infinitely more complicated now. So let's try to get to the bottom of it. Let's bring in our think tank. Joining us tonight in Los Angeles, California, criminal defense attorney, Larry Yuretsian, also with us in Columbia, South Carolina, criminal defense attorney, and lawyer, Lori on TikTok, Lori Murray, and in Washington, D.C., the attorney that represented Johnny Depp in his defamation case at fellow of the American College of Trial Lawyers. Ben Chu is with us. Uh, great to see everyone tonight. Thank you for being here. Uh, Laura, you're on scene. Let's begin here. Do you want to talk about reinstatement of the lawyers? Do you want to talk about uh, the, uh, doctor Close. treatment in prison? Or do you want to talk Maybe about the device I found can help? Well, they're all interesting. <laughs> we can start with the reinstatement of the lawyers. Okay. okay. We can start with that. Go ahead. Should those lawyers be back in? They want to be in. The well, court is free. Richard Allen wants them to represent him. Uh, but the judge found that they were not company counsel. Well, I'm not sure why she found them not competent because my understanding is they were not More like the uh, photos. Someone without their knowledge, uh, someone in the office took photos and leaked them. Well, the judge, it's my understanding is the team attorney, well, the defendant has a right to a defense team or defense lawyer of this choice, especially now that they are uh, pro bono and they're no longer appointed by the court. He's entitled to that. And if he doesn't get back his attorneys, most likely the trial will not go within the time period that he wants it to go. Anyway, he has speedy trial rights as well, other than just the right to uh, attorneys of his choice. Uh, so then there's going to be some issues on appeal if he doesn't get his way. My uh, assessment is that most likely his lawyers will be back on the case. All right, Laurie Murray, you get Hannibal Lecter. Um, what would it be like for you if you were going to represent someone in a double murder case, the most notorious case in the history of the state perhaps, and your client is 200 miles away, and when you go see him, uh, he's uh, shackled, and you got to talk through the little thing. Uh, I've never had to obviously if somebody's causing him harm in the state facility so there's a problem there uh driving that far to be able to see your client is extremely difficult having to make appointments is extremely difficult and every time i've been in the state system the chef comes to the jail today, even just, you know, the jail. Stan, why he's being treated the way he's being treated? I can do. Sweet body, too. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little bit, man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. Hi. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with your mom, but we can still have a party, right? Sure we can. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You can do this by grace or someone who is of a certain religion, depending on what you need to talk with. And the next step, which personally I think is the most important, is saying what you are looking for from therapy, what kind of therapy you want because it's Why did they die here? What happened to them? Um, 
Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. Blech. They may taste bitter but they could save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. 
Such machines are called Watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. That's it. Those will do. Follow. Machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Draw the watcher towards me.
There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low on the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your brain. It's high as the day, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Guess that. The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. Good strike! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy. Quick. Do this slowly and quiet.
can't let them see me. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, 
That's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the Matriarchs brought you to me. So the Matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The Matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. 
Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you've gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Uh... Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but... I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Way down.
when my name was called to the mountain. You did not. Hello, Grotta. Oh, mother. Since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, all mother, and provide for me once more. Don't worry, Grata. I'll hunt your rabbits. All mother, I hear your voice on the wind. I would count your blessings on my prayer beads, but I lost them atop the eastern overlook. My old bones are too worn to return. So it's rabbits and your trinket you need this time. Okay, we'll find you at your camp.
please. I need your help. I'm injured. I need your help. Back to your business. Snow's got a bite out here.
course I'd run into the dirty outcast. Of course I'd run. Time to see Karst and get a tripcaster. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. It's a pleasure doing business. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Ross at the North Gate. Talk to me. I don't think I'd be very nice. 